Well, today is day two and our contractor is going to start working on the pond today. So I just wanted to give you a little update of what it looked like when it started. So Philip was able to dig this part of the pond with the bobcat. And the goal was just to find out if it would hold water at all. Now when the weather's not dry, this will fill up with water. But it's been extremely dry this year, so it's very low. Now this will be fueled by mountain runoff. You see this little area here? The water runs down the hill and it will fill up the pond right here. And as long as we have wet weather, we'll have water in the pond. Now to give you an idea of how large we want to make it, you see the unmowed circle along the edge? That's the boundary that we'd like the pond to be, not that big hump. But over there, that is the boundary that we'd like to have the pond. Now whether or not they can dig all that in a day, I don't know. Yeah, now we can actually drop a little bit of rock at the top and then save some and come back down around here. trying to catch frogs. a view of the pond up a little bit higher and far away so you can kind of see how it looks. Now you can see that he's been building up the bowl along the side, raising the level of the ground to hold the water into that pond. Now Philip looks forward to the day when he can Spend some time fishing with the grandkids and skipping rocks right here at our own pond. I'm impressed at how deep it's going to be. He smoothed out that edge nicely over there. Looking all fancy up there. Checking their work.
The yellow flags that they put out, they were measuring the water level. And they need to raise this outer rim to ensure that the water level will be up to where you can see those flags on the right. It's turn to take a stab at it for a while. is 81 years old, still out working with his son. Tried to catch a frog earlier. There it goes. He busted it. Just a little puddle. I tried to catch a frog earlier for Weston to get away from me and I'm like, well, I hope you like it. You're going to be buried here in a bit.
pond is dug. And the water lines are the yellow flags. Look like they just left one yellow flag. That will be the water line expected. Which is a little lower than we wanted, but we were having a really difficult time getting enough dirt for that embankment on that side. And we were really out of time. Now Philip is going to do the fine-tuning on this outside bank. That is something that they could do for us, but to save money, and really we're out of time, Philip is going to do this embankment himself. So the topsoil is all piled up there at the back so that we can use it for other purposes. And the basin of the pond is clay and that's what will hold the water. Now directly across is where the water comes out of the tree line down that hill that will eventually slowly fill this pond. Someday we'll enjoy seeing the grandkids fishing in the pond, skipping rocks, and enjoying their time with us here at Kowalski Mountain.